see False window swings. Nice one too. Ooh, yeah. Nice false window sphinx. Pseudothyrus medorix. I think it's a female too. That's a good one. Yeah. Good. The sphinx moth count is rising. Yes. All right. It's been a while since we've been here at the sheet. Oh, here's a nice IO, bro. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh, nice, beautiful eye. Oh, look at this guy. Let me see if I can get. That is a beautiful one. Okay, guys. Let's show you what happens. Thing. What happens when you touch an IO? He flies, he flies away. away. That's not what you're supposed to do, bro. You're supposed to show me your eyes. Oh my goodness. He's a beautiful Io moth. Key subspecies of Io moth right there, guys. It's not stopping. Nope. Where you go? Oh, it's gone? No, he's still floating. Come on. Stop. Right here, right here. Oh. It's right here, behind me. Right here, behind me. Watch out with those things. Okay. Now I don't know. Oh. Iomoth's making a fool out of me. What on earth? <laughs> Where'd he go? Here, guys, I want to show you. Medoric pseudothyrus. This is a male. Ricky got a nice female earlier. Guys, this, they sit. When they rest, they rest like this with their, their butt up in the air. <laughs> their abdomen, like, torqued up into the air. I think you're trying to mimic some kind of, like, a tree limb or something. But they call it the false window sphinx because of this little eye spot right here. It's it, A lot of different moths have a window or a translucent spot right there. Well, that one has the spot, but it's actually got scales. So it doesn't, it, it looks like it's a window, but it's not actually a window. It's actually a false window. So they call it a false window sphinx. Sure. Yep, and then over here, we have a male Ello. An Ello Sphinx. They've got the, the males have this dark line down the forewing, which is cool. They got the nice, beautiful red, red hind wing there. How cool is he? Hello, Ello. Hello, Ello. Hello, Ello. Are oh, you going to go fly now? He's thinking about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Guys, 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 look at this. Look at that one. Hold on, let me get my other light. All right, folks, this is Paragonia Lusca. It's the second one of the night. This is a stunning, fresh, fresh male. The males have that little that little tuft on the back of the abdomen. And they, they kind of like the Pseudothyrus medorix. They stick their abdomen up a little bit. Probably not as pronounced, but they've got that little, that little tuft. It's a sex tuft. It's what they use to pick up pheromones of the female. But um, that is a good one right there. Beauty, beauty, beauty. And then there was an elo. A male and a female. Yeah, there's a male elo right here. So, really fresh male elo sphinx. 
and they've got the really cool this one's a really really nicely uh, marked male beautiful and there's a female right there and there's a female well huh? yeah this female has seen better days oh yeah there's a, there's a beat up <laughs> beat up not the same one Okay. Don't ask me for names for now. <laughs> Got it. All right, guys. So we have a Tursa Sphinx, which is a very common bug. And then down here, we've got a green Pluto Sphinx, Xylophanes Pluto. I love this bug. It's got like metallic goldish green flex on the underside uh, top wing is green mottled green and then there's a kind of goldish yellowish hind wing beautiful moth man this is sphinx moths are out tonight buddy we've got we've got a, quite a number of different sphinx moths going really well and then we've got a uh, gonadonid here it was uh uh heterocampa Heterocampa, heterocampa, Zyasi. Bingo, I remember my Latin, baby. <laughs> heterocampa, Zyasi, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, Pluto. And then, of course, Carteri. I mean, Strigillus. I mean, ah, what is it? What is it? Let's see, is this the red one or the yellow one? Or orange? Oh, this one's got the reddish hind wing. Red? He's got Let the red he's finish. got the red hind wing. Go ahead, man. He's got the red hind wing. Okay, after a brief nap, we've came out to back out to the sheet. And there's a nice little pyralid here never know how this turns out but got a nice big witch there's a lot of bugs showing up um, Ricky got a nice white line sphinx which is pretty cool uh, very uncommon in the Keys. I mean, obviously they're common elsewhere in the country, but for the Keys, white line Sphinx are not common at all. There's a number of these Melopotis. A lot of them are pretty worn. I forget, it's probably Januarensis. Yep, another Melopotus. The wind is really doing a number on the sheet. Uh -huh. Okay. There's a lot of these longhorn beetles. Okay, there is a cool geometrid here. Super cool moth, tropical species. The female of this doesn't have that orange triangle on the top. We see the males 90% of the time. There's a click beetle. We've got flannel moth, percularis. All right, well, let's see. If there's anybody floating around. We got groat sphinx. What? Gro yeah, a little groaty eye. Okay. Tired, tired little dude. If anybody likes to collect roaches, there's a roach. Ugh. Ooh. Flying there. 
Yep, yeah, he just came in. All right, one thing, guys, when you're when you have lights out, one of the things you want to do, is, especially when you have these big mercury vapor bulbs, we've got 500 watts right there. What happens is moths will come in, but they won't land necessarily on the light sheet because the 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 bulbs are so powerful. Moths are going to land elsewhere. As you can see, we've been finding them on the road and such. So what I want to do is what you do is you take a net or a stick or something like that and you just kind of go through the the weeds and bushes like this and you kind of knock the trees a little bit and and look like just like that this guy just cut, popped out i don't know what it is it's flying towards the sheet now so what is that rick huh oh, is that one of those big geometrids i forget what they're called but when you know the moths come in they land they land in the bushes and they're sitting in their camouflage you don't see them tap the poison wood tree why not uh and you just knock the bushes around a little bit and and what will happen is you get the moths and insects that are just resting and quiet you get them to kind of jump up fly around a little bit and maybe they'll pop their way back over to your light sheet where you want them so that you can actually see um, see them and and survey the survey the moths properly so let's see if yeah let's see there's a lot more insect activity now just flying at sheets because they're they're coming out of the bushes so let me just keep doing this Poison wood. 